What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking Jaws 4 here bringing us some big news about Black Ops 3. Now if you guys have seen the live stream for E3 on Twitch, you would see a lot of things being revealed about Black Ops 3. And some of the biggest news that came out of it was that Black Ops 3 is now partnered with the PS4. Actually Activision is now partnered with PS4. And what does this mean? Black Ops 3 DLC maps are going to be delivered first to the PS4. It has been 100% confirmed. And another thing that pretty much confirms this is that a lot of pros out there, a lot of Call of Duty pros, a lot of YouTubers out there that are playing Call of Duty are receiving free PS4s from Activision. This is a super insane move. So the change is going to happen. A lot of Xbox players will now be turned to the PS4 because the DLC will be arriving first to the PS4. And that's exactly what Activision wants. He, They want you to play the PS4 now. Because they are not partnered, of course. So, yeah, a lot of people are switching over to the PS4 right now. Another thing is that esports will also be switching to the PS4. So, a lot of the pros out there, like Optic Nation or FaZe or whatever that's you know going around right now in the clans of Call of Duty, you know, everybody will be switching over to the PS4 from now on. So, um, there's a lot of Xbox players, you know, that are butthurt about this, but the other 50% are like, you guys can take the franchise. The franchise sucked anyways. Like right now, yes, you know, Call of Duty Ghost sucked. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare sucked. Black Ops 3 is going to suck even more because, you know, Von Hart did not listen to us. Yeah, I admit it too. It fucking sucks. But hey, well, if there's any butthurt you know, fans left in the Xbox, hopefully they suffer because they've been receiving the DLC for the past eight years on the Call of Duty franchise. So, yeah, it's good to see a few of them suffer. So, that kind of keeps us happy, kind of. I just wish we could have gotten this like a like around Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 1. That would have actually been a big ass change into the whole Call of Duty community because a lot of Xbox players would have been butthurt, even more butthurt than what they are right now. So yeah. I just wish we would have gotten this a little bit earlier. Especially on Black Ops 2. So um after all of this changes, you know, Xbox players are switching over to the PS4. A lot of pros and YouTubers are doing the same thing because, you know, they got free PS4s. My opinion about this is that, um, well, I got a message for you all. For the Xbox players that are switching over to the PS4 right now because of this. My message is, welcome. Welcome to my turf and hopefully I whoop your ass. Because I want you to give up Call of Duty. I want you to get the fuck out of here because that's my mission from right now. That's my mission into Black Ops 3. Going into Black Ops 3, I want everybody to back out from the game because I want Von der Hart to listen up to us that we just want a classic military shooter. None of this futuristic bullshit. So, if you're switching right now from Xbox to PS4, you better worry about me because I'm about to whoop some ass. I'll be using the OP weapons out there and I'm telling you, I'll be going crazy out there, eliminating everyone until they back out, until they regret they don't want to play this fucking game anymore. That's my mission. So if you're an Xbox player, hopefully I see you out there and give it your best because you're not going to be playing this game anymore after I, I finish whooping your ass. That's my message to you all Xbox players. Hopefully I meet you out there. And if you're a YouTuber, if you're a YouTuber who was playing Xbox last year and you switched over to the PS4 this year because of the DLC, I will expose your ass. I will expose you because I know a lot of Xbox players are pulling bullshit and bullshit ratings for Call of Duty. Hopefully I can expose you. So big YouTubers, small YouTubers for Call of Duty, better watch out because I'm coming for you. I'm hunting. This is just hunting season for me. So anyways, enough of the negative messages, enough of this aggressiveness. You know, I apologize. And to the good news, you know, PS4 players, you know, we finally get something that we deserve, but it's kind of late. I wish we would have gotten like earlier on Black Ops 2 especially. And um, well, Xbox players will now have to suffer the way we suffer. For the past eight years, we were always messaging to the uh, Call of Duty devs like, why does Xbox get it first? You know, we want the DLC at the same time. It has to be equality and everything, like blah, blah. And now the tables have turned. It had to happen someday, but it just happened way too late, though. Come on, PS4. You guys can do better than this. <laughs> so that is it. That was my message. That was the big news of what happened the past few days in E3. It's 100% confirmed. This this is not a rumor. This is not a made-up rumor. This is 100% confirmed. Go search it yourself. Go look through the articles. Kotaku, um, you know, Charlie Intel. It's all on the internet. See you guys later. Subscribe for more Black Ops 3.